Hi and welcome to Neo Akito in short. In this series, I will build smaller things in my cyberpunk city and show them to you. So you can get some inspiration for your own builds. Today's topic, helix bridges and how to build them and a normal mix used apartment building. I did need a pedestrian bridge over the river here. And because I found love for helix bridges while building the next big part of Neo Akito, uh, industrial complex, video coming soon, it was clear that I wanted to have also a helix bridge over the river here. Helixes in Minecraft are rather simple to build. If you follow two rules, you can build a helix without problems. First, create a circle, either in your head or with blocks, and then think about if you want to have a more stretched out helix or a helix that is more condensed. If you want more condensed helix, your steps have to be smaller, and if you want to have a stretched out helix, your steps have to be bigger. A step is basically a part of the circle that you build and with every step you move further away from your starting point. Meaning you trace the circle but you move away from the circle while doing so. And voila, you have a helix. Now repeat the process but start on the opposite side to add another helix arm. My bridge uses four of these helix arms. To make your helix look better, use slabs so the parts of the helix look more connected to each other. At the end, just add a paving that you like and some lights and you are done. I use nether brick slabs because they have a good contrast to the quartz that the bridge is built off and end rods for the lightning. You can build helixes out of every block basically, but blocks where you have a slab work the best because you can connect the parts of the helix smoother to each other basically. For the mix used apartment building, I used stone to create a skeleton that looks like pure concrete. I wanted to have a more colorful building once in a while, so I used light blue concrete that gets contrasted with orange elements. Around some areas of the building, there is an orange neon light element. You know, every good cyberpunk city needs a lot of lights and that's an easy way to get them. The concrete skeleton gives a great opportunity to add rusty balconies to the building. As with every good cyberpunk building, the building got its good share of advertisement and billboards. To give the building more details, some of the flats have their air conditioning units hanging outside their flat. And windows have shading over them, which is also a great way to show that the climate is damn hot. On top of the building is a bigger van that also tries to keep the building cool. Also, here I did add some solar panels because they are an easy detail to build. On the ground floor there are two shops that are styled in all purple and in all cyan. I use signs together with glow ink to create neon lights. And with that, that was everything for today. I hope you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing. See you next time in Neo Akito.